Sam Loto Inga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, I also stand to support this, the Insurance Prudential Supervision Bill. Um, as many of the prior speakers have alluded to, um, it is a bill which encourages the maintenance of a sound and efficient insurance sector, and it's about promoting confidence and trust, but also about promoting efficacy in how this sector operates within the New Zealand market. Now, Mr Speaker, it is, it is a bill which replaces um, some rather outdated and disjointed insurance legislation that we have in place today. And it aligns um, our insurance regulatory framework with those benchmarks um, which are set overseas. So New Zealand's financial markets don't operate within a vacuum. It does operate within a complex financial market that spans the globe. Mr Speaker, the economic conditions uh, this year have been quite turbulent. They have um, resulted in the deepest recession that the world has experienced for a number of decades. But I think what this bill attempts to do is, is not to over-regulate uh, uh, this particular market. It is a light-handed way of approaching the markets. And in terms of some of the, 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 the scandals that have affected the financial sector, Mr Speaker, we've got to be careful as legislators that we don't try and legislate honesty, probity, and those that are um, operating in markets in a very dishonest way. So it is about setting the right frameworks. It's about allowing our regulators and our, our, um, those that oversee these markets with the right tools, with the right frameworks, but also the resources um, to put in place that they are able to oversee the efficient running of the insurance market. So what do we do? This bill establishes a system of licensing insurers, which I think most in this House would agree with. It imposes prudential requirements on insurers and allows for the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, which has overseen monetary policy in this country in an independent way. It allows them to um, provide for the compliance of certain requirements. Mr Speaker, it's, um, it's really also about allowing policyholders to trust that those participating at the corporate level in the insurance market are operating in, a, um, in the way that they are supposed to, which is to provide um, for insurance products and services. So it's a comprehensive bill because it covers life, non-life, as well as medical insurance. And it, Mr Speaker, it, um, it's also designed to provide um, and ensure that New, Zealand, um, New Zealand's financial markets are, um, are fluid. And there are, it's part of a, a series of reforms that this government is putting in place. Um, a, a, as a continuation of some of the reforms of the last government, which will allow um, our securities, as well as the corporate trustee model that's being reformed. There's a number of um, reforms around financial advisors, which we're currently going through. So it is one small part of a, an overall reform of our financial and securities markets. So it'll be good for our committee to look into the detail of the bill that's proposed. And I look, certainly look forward to um, discussing it within our select committee. And I, I commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker.